The Cami app is a Chrome extension. To add the Chrome extension, go to Google on your Chrome and search Cami extension Chrome. Click the extension. Once it pops up, click add to Chrome and it's going to verify add extension. Once it's added, it will appear right up here in your extensions bar. So you see mine is right here. Now here's, oh, did you notice it disappeared? That's because I have a lot of extensions coming across. To find your extensions again, click on the puzzle piece and then scroll down to find the extension you want. In my case, I'm looking for Cami. I'm going to pin it so it's now up here all the time. It's a frequently used extension, so I'm going to drag and drop it right over there. Yes, you can rearrange your extensions. Now I have it in Chrome. It is also a web-based program, so if you're not a Chrome user or you don't have permission to put extensions on your Chrome, you can always use the web-based. You can go to the Cami web app right online and use it that way. This is also the way that you could use it on an iPad. You would open it from the browser, however, there is no iPad app for Cami. How to create your PDF so that students can annotate it. So if you've got something you want them to read and mark up, maybe you want them to select certain words or you want them to fill in some blanks, I use the extension Cami, which is right up here, K-A-M-I. It's a PDF and document annotation extension that can be added to the Chrome browser. And it's opened in preview right now. I don't want to convert it to a Google Doc. I don't want to convert it to slides. I want to leave it as a PDF. But I would like for my students to know how to open this and mark it up. And you might want to open it and mark it up and then save the marked up PDF to share with your students. So when this open up pops up, I'm going to tap annotate with Cam. And what that does now, notice it's opened a new tab and it's opening it up in Cami and it's giving me all my tools. Now I'm using the free version and I've never used the paid version and this does absolutely everything I need it to do. So what you're going to want to do is teach your students how to effectively use Cami to make notes, mark up things, and highlight information that's significant with just the free tools. Over here on the left hand side are all of the tools. Now anything that has a lock on it simply means that that's under the subscription piece and we're not going to be using it. But here's my document. It looks exactly like the PDF before it was converted to Cami. And now I want to, uh, let's say I just, I want to select the title. So when I tap the select button, look at that. I just, I can select that copy it, change the color, highlight it, whatever I want to do with it. And then the hand tool right here allows me to navigate a little by little instead of using the scroll bar. Then right here is to select any annotations. I don't have any annotations yet to select, so we're going to let that one be. Moving down to the next one is the markup. I have all of these options for marking up and look at this, even colors to choose from. Why would you want to use colors? Well, you might ask your students to take all nouns that they see on your PDF and put a blue shape around it or highlight it in blue. Or you might want them to take all the verbs and make them yellow in some way to indicate. You might want them to be looking for a main idea and you want that main idea to be a certain color. So I'm going to just use this blue right here. I'm going to come down here. I'm just highlighting. Notice how, notice how that is now blue highlight because I selected the text highlighter. You can also grab the yellow and do that one as well. So your students don't have to stick to one color throughout the entire document. So you may assign them different colors for different purposes or outcomes that you want on your PDF. This is a box highlighter. I can grab it and put a box around it and then it highlights the whole thing as a box versus the 
the shape. Strike through, maybe we uh, say, well, this guy is not at a school, so we just want to strike through, whoops, uh, control Z takes care of errors. I make mistake, and so I want that one a strike through. Here's my underline. Maybe we want to underline every university representative. And again, you can be changing your colors all the way through. My next one here is a comment. When I have text comment selected, I, I may want my students to add a comment, or I may put a comment in there to a student. So I may want to comment right here on the Michigan Education Association. And notice my comment box pops up over here on the right hand side, just like on Google Docs. And now when I go away from that, that stays right there. The next one is a text box. I might add a text box either myself or have a student mark it and I might ask a question, how many different universities are on this list? Moving on down, oh look at this, the students can draw. You could even give them a PDF asking them to draw what comes to mind when they see a sentence or maybe you play a little bit of music and have them draw what comes to mind as they're listening to that music. Here are your, your different types of strokes you can use. It can be transparent. You can have, again, same color. So we'll just, I'm just gonna draw a star here. Mouse control, really good practice for mouse control. Shapes, got all these shapes and maybe we want a line from the Michigan Department of Education over here to Michigan State University somehow creating that association. And then here's my eraser, where I can erase my drawings and shapes, click on it, and it removes them. And then I can also clear all annotations out of there if I make a mistake or I'm not uh, sure that I'm going in the right direction. This just toggles the descriptions on and off. It gives a little bit more descriptor of those. You can also move this toolbar. So for students whose brains look to the right side, can add theirs to the right. My brain very much prefers the left side, probably because that's the way it was trained. But these are options that students need to know in order to be successful. My account is a teacher account. There's my upgrade. This is my sidebar. I can actually turn it off and on over here to see the different elements of the PDF. I'm going to turn that off. For me, that's too much visual distraction. This right here, it tells me that, that I have it in Google Drive because that's where I opened it and it will also save it as a Cami in Google Drive. It is in my PDF folder and it is the, this is the original PDF that was opened. Here is a great tool for students to use if they need to enlarge things for vision purposes or looking in more, at more detail. Learning the uh, zoom in, zoom out is an excellent tool for every user, regardless of our role. They can also zoom using the numerical instead of the plus minus. This allows me to open the file, share the document. Now this is where you might want to be sharing directly with your students from the PDF right here. So if you click share, you can copy the link and see right here, it says it's public. I can change my sharing to restricted. I'm just gonna leave it at anyone with the link for the moment. Do I want this to be allowed to download and print? I would say absolutely yes. So that those who need to have a hard copy in their hand can do that. And then you can also change other share settings in your Google Drive as needed. Moving on over here, there's your print feature. Here's your save feature. Here's your download feature your help menu, and then another menu of all the other things you can do in Cami. Play around with this, see what you think, try it with some students, get their feedback. Let me know how I can help you and I can't wait to hear from you.